Hi there, it's Julia here from Vile Inspiration and today I want to teach you how to play a whole new world. I just showed you the notes and if you would like to have some extra information about the notes, you can download the sheet music below. And now let's talk a little bit about this song and how to practice this. The first thing that you might have noticed when starting to practice this song is that it is quite a hard key. It's in the key of E, which means that we are playing a high third finger all the time on the D string. So you might not have noticed and in that moment it sounds like this. So it will sound pretty weird. So make sure to play a high third finger on the D string and play it high enough so it sounds in tune. And for if you are just starting to play the violin it might feel like you're putting it really really high in that case. So. We also have high second fingers, which most of you are used to. Um, another quite challenging thing is that sometimes we are playing a low first finger and sometimes a high first finger. And let's go to the part where we do that. So in this part, I play a first finger three times on three different places. The first time I put my first finger on the place where I normally put my low second finger. So. So just below the, the high second finger. So you just put the first finger below the second finger. And you see that they are touching each other on the moment I both put them on the string. So. And then we are playing a low first finger, which is very far away from the second finger. And then we play second again. And then a normal first finger. So, two, high one, three, two, low one, two, and normal one. So this is quite a tricky part and make sure to practice it slowly. And if this part doesn't work, don't practice the whole song again all the time, but really take this little part out and practice it until you get it. So play, practice like this. And then you're doing it again. And again. And you do it again and all the time you listen, was it right the way I played it right now? And if it wasn't right, try to figure out what didn't sound right yet. Was the first finger a little bit too low at the first time or was it a little bit too high? And then you try to correct yourself and play it again in a way. So really put thought into it. It doesn't work if you just play it without thinking. Like you know, like you are playing it wrong all the time and you are not really paying attention to what it actually sounds like. Another thing that can help is to record yourself when you're practicing and look back and see like, what do I want to um, improve right now? Because it can be quite challenging to listen to yourself and to remember how to hold the bow and everything like that. This song is also quite challenging. So if you are just starting with playing the violin, I would uh, suggest to you to to, um, to work with Bare Necessities right now, the tutorial I uploaded before, and just skip this one because it might be a little bit too hard and it might already be a big challenge to learn one or two songs during this Disney challenge. So another thing I want to say about the song is that we are playing a lot of slurred notes again, just like with the Lion King, Can You Feel The Love Tonight, the other tutorial that I made. So, so, so we are not playing. But we are trying to play legato and we try to bind all the notes together so it sounds like a little bit romantic and I think this is a very romantic song. So, And for those of you who already play vibrato, there is this long note in the refrain and it is really beautiful to put some vibrato onto that one. And a really fun thing to do with this specific note is to not start with vibrato, but only put vibrato in the end of the note. So like this. And I think
think this sounds quite beautiful to um, to make your vibrato larger all the time. So to start with no vibrato and make more vibrato all the time. Of course, this is the same with the second part of the song. In the second part of the song, we are repeating the whole song, but we are playing it in another key. So the first time we are playing it in the key of E, and the second time we are playing it in the key of G, which is actually a little bit easier. So if you just started to play the violin, you can also just play it in the key of G. Um, and then we have this So there you can also add the extra vibrato Also, if you are working with this sheet music You might have noticed that I play the rhythm a little bit more freely Than you can see it on the sheet music Sometimes I am playing the song more like they sing it As that they put it down in notes on the sheet music Because I personally prefer to play the songs like this so if you get confused because of some notes, it is because I interpret it, I play it a little bit more freely. You can also do this for yourself and listen to the song because I think sometimes it is really beautiful to not only look at the notes but also feel like what kind of note feels right at which time and not to play it exactly like it is standing over there. I can show you a part where I do this for instance and where I think it sounds more beautiful when you interpret it a little bit more freely. And over there I played a little bit more like this instead So as you see I am changing up the rhythm a little bit And it is more similar to the actual song So look for yourself what you prefer yourself You can also play the rhythm like it is written on the sheet music Another tricky part of this songs are the triads, I believe it's called triads in English And it is those notes where you see this little three above it So it is da 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 So these notes like ti di di that you hear all around the song And they are quite tricky because they are three notes played in the time of two normal one beats So, so you are so the rhythm would be like this, if I would clap the rhythm on my um, uh, pants. One, two, three, four, one, two, da, 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 one, two, three, four, one, two, da, 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 one, two, three, four, one, two, da, 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 one. So as you see, it's, it's quite a challenging rhythm and you can also practice it just by clapping for a few times with this video like da 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 one two three four five da 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 so you can try to to say it with me or put it on a metronome and try to just say the rhythm instead of playing it directly but I think the rhythm gets a little bit more easy because many of you know this song and if you know this song you kind of naturally get the rhythm normally so also make sure to listen to the song a lot of times and it will get much more easy to play this specific rhythm so this is everything that I wanted to say about this song I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see you back next week for my next tutorial. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel and to like this video if you didn't do that already. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.